Andy, folks. It is Diecast Buffet here again. Welcome back to another NASCAR Diecast review. And today we have a very cool car from Tony Stewart's final season in the NASCAR Cup Series season, uh, or series, I should say. It is the Mobile One Summer Saildown uh, Chevrolet. I believe this was ran at the Brickyard 400 that year, uh, which Jeff Gordon. I want to say actually ran that race. Could be mistaken. Uh, he did run a few races that year. And if that's the case, that is pretty cool for them to uh, both have their final Brickyard 400 in 2016. But nonetheless, though, let's go ahead and check out the diecast. Alrighty, folks, right out of the good old box, and here is this epic-looking diecast. You know, throughout the years, they've had a lot of different Mobile One-style paint schemes, but something about this, uh, the Pegasus wing uh, livery that they had in 2016 is really clean, if you ask me. Looks very good on a uh, cup car diecast. So let's go ahead and dive into this one here. i got the Stuart front windshield banner right there, a giant Mobile One decal right there. On the hood, uh, very, very nice. Now, you can see the front of the car is not so nice. It's uh, kind of skew, uh, skewed and screwed up there. You got the 14 right there. Notice it's the same um, color palette as the Roof 14 with the red in the middle and the blue on the outside. I really like how the, the splitter here is uh, blue on the bottom, but on the top, it has a very uh, nice white stripe with some red on top of it. That looks very, very good. That does not look good there with the uh, uh, contingencies very crinkled up, uh, very messed up there. You get Moog, well, whatever's left of, that, left of the Moog decal there. Mail, Cop, Edderbrock, Sudoku. You got Stuart Haas Racing right there. Let's go to the left side of this diecast here. Now, you can see a little bit of a, a paint chip or a decal uh, chip right there, unfortunately. But uh, this is a really cool car. Um, this is not the only Mobile One car they made that year for Tony Stewart. They had the normal one that says it on the side. Uh, but they decided to make this kind of an alternate paint scheme, which was kind of a trend for 2016 and 2017. I'll even go back a few years, maybe 2014 to 15, uh, with Jeff Gordon. Because you notice in uh, 2017... They had a lot of different Dale Jr. diecasts that had a different side logo, but had the same hood logo. Uh, so they did that with Tony Stewart here, and I believe some of Jeff Gordon's AARP cars uh, from years prior uh, had the same thing. So you got uh, Smoke right there. You got your one race win sticker, which uh, this was, ran, I, I believe, at the Brickyard 400, which is after uh, the Sonoma Cup race, which was his final Cup Series win, unfortunately. You got Mobile One right there. Um, some very small logos on the B-pillar. It would have been really cool to get a Jimmy John's Tony Stewart die cast. Get Bass Pro Shops, Coca-Cola. I think it's Code 3. You got uh, Chevy Summer Saildown, Haas, uh, Mac Tools Mobile One, Rush Truck Centers Mobile One once again. I like the blue side skirts. Very, very nice. Got the 14 right there. Cup Series race car. It does look like there's two race car decals here. So maybe they screwed up the first one and put a second one there, which is interesting to know. Uh, good year right there. During last breaks, 3M, Mobile One, Mobile, uh, what is it, Mechanics Work, K&N. For the back end of the die cast here, the back end looks significantly better uh, than the front of the die cast. It's not, you know, screwed up. Uh, we got the Mobile One logo there. I think that's the Tony Stewart Foundation number 14. Got the black spoiler, very, very sharp. You know, not too tall, not too short. Just a nice uh, look for these Chevrolet die casts from the mid 2010s. Go to the right side of the die cast here, and uh, just a very, very clean paint scheme. Of course, I picked this one up during the, uh, the Circle B uh, die cast, uh, or I think it was actually 2020, so that was when they were called Plan B Sales. Uh, that was their only uh, website. I got during the Black Friday sale. Of course, they probably still have this die cast over there, so if you want to get this car and uh, save on shipping, make sure to check out that promo code down below, guys. Um, one little detail I really like about this car is right here, how on the Chevy Summer Saildown decal, it's gray right there, the Chevy, right? And the other words are blue. I really like that. Unfortunately, it does have some more decal issues there, there, and uh, the Goodyear logo is, is kind of moved up there. So this car does definitely have a few errors to it, unfortunately. So you got the number 14 right there on the roof. Very iconic number. You got the uh, Mobile One decal right there on their roof flaps. And you go to the deck lid, and you got Chevy Summer Saildown. No little uh, decal issue right there on the uh, the, the trunk. So, um, honestly, this is a really cool-looking die cast. I love to see more of these um, kind of different side sponsor uh, logo die casts get made. Very reminiscent of the Eric Almarola paint schemes um, from his Stuart Haas Racing tenure. You know, he would have Smithfield in the hood and have a completely different logo on the side. Unfortunately, they never make those die casts, which is really a shame because he does it numerous times throughout the year. So, I would really like to see more cars that you know, have a one-off, you know, side sponsor decal. Like, sometimes they go to, you know, Michigan, Kansas, whatever it may be, they'll actually do that. But uh, nonetheless, this is a very, very cool Tony Stewart diecast. Um, I think 
I think I've seen uh, some people make some raced versions out of this 164. I think uh, LW3 did uh, because this ran at the Brickyard 400 from what I remember. It could have ran the weeks prior and the weeks after. it. You know, it was one of their summer promotions. But nonetheless, a very, very nice Mobile One paint scheme. And I got to tell you the truth, I probably like this Mobile One paint scheme. Uh, better than the Kevin Harvick kind of gray ghost Mobile One car uh, that he ran from, what, 2019 to 2021. Because uh, it's just, I don't know, the, the Pegasus wings are really, really cool. And just a simple white paint job, the inverted uh, door to roof number. I will say I wish the, the sign numbers were a little bit bigger because you can see how giant the roof number is compared to the sign numbers. Um, and if the, the side skirts were, weren't painted and they were uh, white as well, it would make the door number look significantly smaller as well. So that's probably my only little uh, thing there. But anyways, guys, thank you all so much for watching the video. Make sure to give it a huge thumbs up. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I hope to see you the next NASCAR Diecast review, guys. Have a great one, everybody. Diecast Buffet. Sign it off.